Python lists are highly flexible data structures that allow you to store a sequence of items. These items can be of any data type, including numbers, strings, or even other lists, making Python lists very versatile for various programming tasks. To create a list in Python, you enclose items in square brackets, separated each item with a comma. So to do that, let's create a simple list called days, where we'll list all the days. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, mm, sorry, missed that, Wednesday, And let's add one more Thursday. Oh, of course, and the equal sign here as well. And we want to show what's that. Then we see the list that we have created, which is in days. Now, also, I mentioned that there could be various different types within the list. So not only just strings, but let's create a mixed list and within that list let's say we have a string that's abc a number 23 boolean true and a float 3.14 well oh, sorry with a comma instead of a period and if we want to see what's in this list that we created and we have exactly that so we can mix and match various things within our list. You can also create lists using the list constructor. So to do that, let's create a list con to represent the list constructor. And this, the list constructor is using the list word followed by parentheses. And within the parentheses, we have a list of elements. So using another pair of parentheses, we say this comma is comma a comma list comma words list of words and so we want to see that list once we create it and there we go so using the list constructor we could also construct a list as we can see here list elements are accessed by their index which start at zero for the first element. You could also use negative indices to access elements from the end of the list. So let's use our first example, which was the days list. And we want to get the first element, which is Sunday. So we would use the zero index. And when we click play, we get the first element. And if we wanted to get the last element, we could use negative one, which gets the last element element which would be thursday which was misspelled here so thursday let's save that and then let's click play here and we get thursday of course we could also access the last element by the last number index as well so zero one two three four so it will be index number four click play and of course we also get thursday as well Python lists are mutable, meaning you can change their elements. So let's go back to our previous list, which was called the mixed list. So just a quick reminder, mixed list and shift enter. This is our mixed list. We could change these elements that are in this list. So let's say we want to change the true element to false. Well, this is going to be our 0, 1, 2, and third element, which has an index of 2. So let's select that using the 
bracket notation, and then we want to assign that the value of false instead. And let's then look at our list again after it has been changed, and we now have the value false. You could add and remove elements into the list using the append method, or you could use the extend met method for adding multiple items. So if we want to add a new item to this list, let's say mixed list dot append. And what we want to append is a string called Python. And when we click play, that's going to be appended. And if we take a look again at the mixed list, then we see Python has been added. If we want to add multiple elements, then we would use the extend method where we would provide a list of, let's say, another value of 45 as a string and mm, let's say a number 456. And then let's take a look at the mixed list after it has been extended click play and we see these two elements have been added as well if we want to remove elements from a list then we would use the remove method and then we will remove one value after another or we can use the pop method to remove by index so let's remove what we just added so let's do mixed list dot remove and we want to specifically remove the 456 number. And then once we do that, let's also take a look again at our list. Click play. And we have removed that last element, which was 456. We can also remove an element by its index. So instead of using remove, we could do pop and then where we provide the index of the element that we want to remove. So let's say we want to remove 23. This is gonna be index one, so zero, one. This is index one for the element 23, so we provide one, and we click play, and we have removed that second element of index one. To find the number of items in a list, you can use the len method to check how many items there are. So let's use the len and we provide the variable, which is our list, which is, for example, our mixed list. And if we do shift enter, then we can see it has five. So one, two, three, four, five, five elements within this list. You can get a sublist of items by slicing the list using the colon operator. So let's say we want to get the first three elements of the mixed list. So we would do mixed list bracket, and then the index from which we want to start from so that we want to start from the first element and where we want to stop which is the fourth element which is going to be the third index so zero one two are the three elements that we want and then we stop at the third index which is the fourth element and if we click play we get the first three elements lists can also contain other lists as elements uh, which allows basically for multi-dimensional arrays or basically nested lists. So we could easily add a list to this list by doing mixed list and then append, let's say a list that is hello one three and then we do mixed list click play and we get that list within the original list we can also check whether or not a specific element exists within a list so we could check for example if the word python is in the mixed list and if we click play 
it's true. But if we do, for example, true, and we want to check if true is in the mixed list, then we get false. If you have a list of numbers, you could easily find the minimum and maximum numbers within that list. So let's create a quick list here called numbers, which has a list of one, two, three. And let's say we want to get the minimum number within the list. So we do min and numbers and we click play. And we, of course we get the minimum number, which is one. And if you want to find out the max, then we use the max method and that returns three. Become a member at AILearningHub.io and get access to personalized mentor guidance, early access to AI resources, help with AI projects, and a great learning community.